Monday afternoon, River Run. And I, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you to all that uh, tuned in to our, our services on Sunday. Uh, we appreciate it. I want you to know that uh, we did have a few glitches and we are working to improve them. And so next Sunday will be uh, much better, much improved. Uh, to let you know what's going on in River Run and uh, areas of ministry that uh, we're involved in and the needs of the church, I wanted to just fill you in today and give you an idea of where our needs lie. The first is in giving. As you know, I don't talk about giving all that much because we have a church that is uh, a very giving church. But with our services not meeting together in one place and our offerings not being collected, uh, the offerings uh, will need to come in in a uh, different form than uh, some of you are accustomed. We have four ways in which uh, you can give if uh, you would be kind enough and, and faithful enough to give. The first, you can, uh, you can mail a check to the church at 1660 Croton Road. Uh, it's Melbourne, Florida, 32935. And uh, if you wish to give to the food pantry, in the memo line, just write food pantry. But any check that does not have a memo will go into the general fund. Also, we have online giving. If you go to the church webpage at riverrunchristian.com, if you look up in the top right of uh, the main page, you'll see a, a, a menu for giving. And there you can give securely online and uh, that would be gracious of you. You also can uh, give by text. If you on your cell phones text river, excuse me, river run, uh, no spaces, just together, river run, and you text that to 7325, there you can also securely uh, give your offerings. And one other way, uh, many of you pay your bills through your bank's uh, bill pay. You can also type through the, the church, uh, to the church through your bank, no pay also. Uh, if you could do that, we appreciate it. Uh, there's no emergency at this point, but as time goes on and as our services are not able to meet together for a period of time, uh, this will become very important. We also have some uh, volunteer opportunities as we serve the church and our community. We are currently uh, still running our food pantry. Food pantry is open on Mondays and Thursdays from 10 to 12. And right now we are in need of volunteers that will help out in the pantry. Uh, several of our volunteers are in the high risk area for the COVID-19. So we need to fill in the slot. So if you are able to volunteer for that, we appreciate it. Also starting this Friday, we will continue uh, or we'll start up providing food to our backpack students at Sherwood Elementary and Harbor City Elementary. Uh, they are invited to come to the food pantry where we'll have backpack or bags of food for the students for the weekend, as well as a bag of food for the families. Uh, we could use your help in that area also. And there are two opportunities that may be on the horizon that we will need volunteers for. The first, uh, Brevard County is projecting uh, uh, to provide food, uh, have a food distribution and River Run has been selected as one of the food distribution sites for Brevard County. And it, is, it will be 100% volunteer operated. So if you are able to volunteer for that, uh, let us know uh, when there's more information on that, we'll let you know. And then finally, uh, we may, as this uh, stretches out over a period of time, we may need help in uh, assisting our River Run uh, family, as well as families in our community who may have needs such as going to the grocery store or to the drugstore or, or doing other things that uh, because they're shut in, they're not able to uh, do. Uh, if you could volunteer for any of those, for our food ministries, for our uh, food distribution with Brevard County, and also in assisting in, in helping our, our family as well as uh, neighbor, neighborhood friends, uh, if you could call the church, 321-259-04, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's 321-259-0478. Uh, uh, 
or you can email me at dan at riverrunchristian.com. And finally, let me just say, I am overwhelmed by the number of people that actually viewed our service on Sunday. And I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for your kind words and your encouraging words, as well as the uh, important constructive criticism that we received. Uh, it's helpful that we understand what the issues are so that we can work through them. So I thank you for that. And I can guarantee you this coming Sunday will be much more improved. I uh, ask you to continue to pray for our nation, pray for our state, pray for our county, and especially pray for our health care workers. They are on the front line of this beast that is uh, being uh, fought in so many different levels and so many different battlefronts. And that our health care uh, folks, our doctors, our nurses, our technicians, our CNAs, our assistants, they're in the middle of it and they are the front line. So continue to keep them in your prayers as well as our first uh, first responders, our police officers, our firefighters, our paramedics, and all of those that are uh, directly involved with assisting people through that. And if you know of any needs, uh, please contact the church. Let us know and we will provide help as much as needed. And to close that, let me give you one final word of encouragement. This past Sunday, I believe that the Word of God was made available to more people than ever before in human history. Hundreds, if not thousands, of churches across the country broadcast their services across the internet on so many different platforms, and people were able to view it that possibly have never viewed a church service. So let me uh, just say this. The church was never about the building. And we don't need to have a building to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And where we are now as a church of Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, we have left the building. When we are outside of the building is when we shine the brightest. So be the church, be the light, be the salt that our community so desperately needs. And until next time, God bless you. I pray for you. Pray for your health and your safety. And I pray that this monster goes away quickly. See you next time.